Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover some news that they released in game today. So, uh, we got some good and also some uh, not so interesting news but nonetheless let's go over it right now. So, story event taking to the skies, the extra stages will now be available on Friday. So as always, you guys will be able to farm a little bit more Crist and get your hands on a little bit more Lapis, which is always good. Then we're going to get something that uh, most people were not expecting to come back. I was actually waiting for news of Xenogears or maybe Final Fantasy Tactics, but not this one. Since this one, it's back the event dungeons. Uh, the event dungeon, the Aura Site Chosen. So basically this is when uh, Orlando came out the first time. So uh, I'm pretty sure if you guys did this in the past, you will not be able to get the rewards once again. All those tickets and all that good stuff. But if you're a newer player, uh, nonetheless, this will be really, really good for you. Get your hands on tickets, lapis, and also some good equipment. Uh, if you are starting the game and you have basically no good materials, uh, especially killer abilities or stuff like that, I would go for Poach, but other than that, uh, get your hands on maybe Dorandal, because there is the light element on it, so if you guys don't have uh, Excalibur or something like that, and once again, it's for newer players, so newer players, get your hands on, uh, good stuff, if you guys don't have a good buffer, go for Soleil, uh, she's really, really good, awaken her, and uh, you will be set for a, uh, a good amount of time until you get a better buffer. And also you can get the Kiyomori, which has a 10% evade, which is really, really good if you guys want to do uh, an evade tank. And I actually have a guide on uh, my page on YouTube, if you guys want to check that one out, uh, on how to build a 100% evade tank. So uh, you guys are going to be fighting chocobos, so get some bird killers for the extra. And uh, bonus units... Orlando, Soleil, Lawrence, and Ovelia. That's basically all you get. And uh, once again, I was not expecting this one to come back. I was actually waiting for the other Final Fantasy Tactics uh, collaboration to come. And uh, yet, we, uh, we have something old that's coming back. So... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this week. So it's gonna be a little bit of a quiet week for that. But... You monsters are out there that loves doing bosses. You're going to be able to keep your hands busy with Chamber of Arms. A new foe waits. Welter and Beholder. Uh, Warden Welter. So this boss is going to be live on Thursday after, main after maintenance, which is uh, March 21st. And uh, let's see what we can get from this boss right here. Uh, let's go down here. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. So you're gonna you're gonna be able to get your hands on uh, the Walter, the Beholder, the Grand Star. So basically, Grand Star, what it does, it's an accessory, gives you attack, defense, magic, and spirit 25. So it's raw stats <clears throat> and enables radiance that conquers natures, uh, radiance that conquers civilization, and radiance that conquers evil. So basically, what that thing is. For all three, I don't know why they didn't put everything together, but whatever, it's still good like that. Uh, basically what it does, it boosts your physical and magic damage against beasts, avian monsters, aquatic monsters, insect, plants, uh, humans, machina monsters, stone monsters, demons, dragons, fairies, and reapers. So basically it gives you 50% uh, magic and defense, magic and defense, magic and uh, attack uh, killer abilities on pretty much everything. So you guys put that on your characters and you will be wrecking stuff. Which is really, really good. Uh, I actually like this thing. I just wish they would have put everything together. Because it's just to make it pretty. But uh, put everything together. Makes it so much easier. Then, defeat the Warden. Walter parties within 20 turns. Two rare summon tickets. Evoke Diablos and Anima. 10% Moogle, which is always, always good. Since... Uh, the boy Axstar should be coming soon, within a month or two. Keep that lapis. Uh, and defeat Warden Walton, uh, Walter with Bahamut. You get a 4-star ticket, which is pretty nice. But I, I wish they would start putting those 5-star tickets. I don't know. I think it would be a little bit better. Just to, uh, you know, reward the players a little bit better for uh, completing some mission. Because a 4-star ticket is good. But uh, I don't know. If you would put a 5-star guaranteed ticket, that would be really, really nice here. Especially because you're bringing old uh, events back, Gumi. But uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. So, uh, that's going to be number one. Number two. 
wrong one. Number two, the Sworn of Gilgamesh. So if you guys have your SIDs ready, well, be ready to probably one-shot this guy because uh, SID is really strong. Uh, but if you don't have SID and you want to take on this foe, uh, this is going to be a pretty good fight. The fearsome foe in the far plane grows even stronger. So Gilgamesh is back with his revenge. Uh, here's some info for you, Kupo. And uh, like the first fight, sorry about that. Like the first fight, you guys will be, uh, you, you're going to need to use elemental attack. So right here, we're going to go over the stuff that uh, little Mr. Kupo says. Uh, he is strong against non-elemental attacks and changes attack pattern based on remaining HP. Kupo, there are two possibilities, uh, possible patterns. One where using certain elemental attacks will limit the enemy's attack and two where the enemy will counter attack Kupo. So basically, uh, almost like the first fight, whenever you're going to do a certain element, so uh, let's say wind, water and fire, uh, you're kind of going to stop one of his attack. So you're going to make sure that he's not going to do one big attack because you basically did those three elements. So it's going to be something like that. Then. Determine when to fight while restricting the opponent, uh, the opponent's attack and when to withstand the opponent's attack while dealing damage. Kupo, be wary of his powerful attacks. Bushido Freedom, so basically he's going to dispel your whole party. So uh, this is uh, pretty bad. He's going to dispel your party and do damage to you, which, is, which he will use when his HP falls below a certain point. So ideally, you will probably want to bring him to that threshold. And before he does Bushido Freedom, BAM! You hit him hard and you kill him, which is easy, easier said than done, right? So initial completion reward, uh, basically get 100 Lapis, which is nice. This is really good. This is fantastic. So initial uh, reward, complete the quest. You get Mar Murasama, which is FFB Katana, uh, 172, which is really, really good. Uh, enables Vengeful Demon's Crest, basically boosts physical damage against Avian monsters and humans. So basically it has killer abilities so 50 percent extra damage against humans and uh, avion monsters which is insanely good this katana is going to be really really good so uh whenever the boy axtar comes out this you can put on put him on uh until you get a super tmr if you do get a super tmr because this thing is really 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 good then uh use no more than three items you get a 10 percent moogles thank you uh this is a little bit uh I find this is really bad. This is like laughing at us right here. Deal ice, lightning, and dark damage two times or more each to an enemy. You get 50 trust coins. Come on. Just really give us a little bit more. 50 trust coins. You kidding me? I get more from uh, doing a 3 star 100% trust Moogle. 100% uh, trust Moogle. Having a 3 star that's 100% with his trust. Come on, give us a little bit more. Like, don't be cheap on this. Or give us something. I'll take two rare summon tickets over this. 50 trust coins. Give us 100. Give us 200. Whatever. Something a little bit more than that. I know they're trying to do something different. But, meh. They could give us a little bit more, right? Come on, Gumi. Do it, please. Square Enix. You out there? Listen to me. A little bit more. Thank you. Be generous. Uh, and use eight or more limit burst. With, uh, I think we're going to have to push and a lot of people will not we're, we're gonna see some builds where people kill Gil Gilgamesh within like three four turns just for fun but this is gonna be really good guys we get a five star select seven ticket and that's on the right path I think they should do a little bit more stuff like that where they actually give us five star select seven ticket by rewarding us doing bosses and stuff like that that should be in every single bosses in the future that's one thing they should do uh I know 50 trust coin is not that, ma not that much. I would go a little bit more, but this is really, really good. So, uh, Gumi, yes, this is really nice. Thank you so much. Then uh, this is what we're going to get it. 5 star select 7 ticket, which is really nice. Good, 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 good. So, this is going to be the news. Do you have anything here? No, basically maintenance. Uh, they haven't talked about anything else. We still kind of in the dark for whatever future events is going to come out on uh, FFB. But for now, uh, at least you guys will be able to keep your hands busy on uh, the two new, two new bosses. I'll, I'll, I'll try my uh, my luck on uh, Gilgamesh, see if I can do something to him. Maybe break his armor or me dying over and over. That could be fun. And uh, maybe on Friday, I'll be doing a little stream where I'm going to try to take my hands on this guy and fight him. Bare fist.
which is not gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, we're still in the dark for most of the stuff, which is a little bit boring and sad. But nonetheless, guys, if you're newer player players, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to keep busy. Uh, that new event is really, really good. Like I said, get that Durandal. Light element on the Greatsword is really, really nice. And it's always good to have. Uh, if you're older players, well, at least we get two bosses that we're going to be able to keep our ends on. So that's really, really nice. On that note, guys, let me know down below. Are you excited to take on these bosses? If so, what's going to be your strategy? And uh, who are you going to be using? Who do you think you're going to be using? I know I'm going to be using somebody who's gonna buff my party. So CJ Nicole is probably gonna be there or Mr. Zarg boss. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below, subscribe for more content and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.